Hey guys, how are you guys doing? It's afternoon, 15 after. How's everybody doing? <coughs> Sorry. Oh. So I'm still hanging out here in Boise. Thinking about walking uh, about a half mile that way to, to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Been like some chickens. I shouldn't, because I got food in the truck. I shouldn't go spend the money. Actually, I gotta look to see if I even have the money to spend. Probably not. The only reason I was going over there, well, it's a big shopping center over there. They got a big, big store over there. Uh, Home Depot and Fred Meyer and a whole bunch of stuff over there. My doctor's office used to be over there. Now it's over and under. Anyway, so I thought about going over there and walking around their parking lot. It's probably a good mile and a half or two miles or all the way around that parking lot. So I thought about going over there and getting some exercise. Uh, anyway, um, I think I might have fixed our my memory probably would not fix it, but found a way around it. Bought this little dongle, the memory stick. This little 32 gig memory stick that fits my phone. I can uh, transfer stuff onto it. Give me some space on my phone. I can also uh, transfer the videos over to it instead of under keeping them on the phone. Um, so yeah, I will probably do that. Um, so I might make things easier, maybe. I make maybe, bleh, maybe make longer videos when I'm driving. Um, right now, when I clear all the videos and pictures off the phone, I got about 10 gigs of space left, and um, that driving video I did last. Uh, uh, kind of long one to uh, up I-30 um, to westbound of sundown too. That was without speeding it up. That was like a 30-minute video. Uh, cut down to to around a 15, 16-minute video, whatever it was. Um, that took up like eight gigs. Eight gigs. So that's quite a bit of space. So yeah, video takes up a lot of memory. Um, and then you add audio and music and stuff to the video and it makes it even bigger. So I'm trying to work around, around it with, until I can get the money up to to buy a laptop and a, and a better camera. Um, thought about using my dash cam, but it's, it doesn't uh, recording in uh, HD. It's a uh, what is it recording? Uh, I guess it does. It's 720p, but not in 10. Uh, what does it call it? 1040 or 10, whatever it is. It's not real good. So I'll probably get a better camera. Thought maybe a GoPro, but I don't know. We'll see. Um. I can get a GoPro off of Amazon or something for like three hundred and something dollars. That's with the mount, a couple of different mounts. Um, I looked at a couple of cheap laptops while ago. They're around three hundred fifty bucks for cheap ones, but not a lot of memory, but enough to hold what I need just to edit videos. Once I get a video edited and uploaded, I go ahead and delete it. Um, because I don't really need it after that. Uh, I thought about saving some of them just in case I need to borrow clips from but the editing uh, app that I have for the phone doesn't really let you cut them up a video um, into separate frames. It's kind of weird. You can shrink it down. You can't really just you know, take bits and pieces out of it. It's kind of weird. So I'll get, I'll get better editing once I get a laptop. So, yeah. Anyway, oh, Linda, you wanted to see my hat. 
it's really dirty and it's hard to see. But uh, yeah, this is Labor Sun. We got a white hat um, to home. Uh, actually, we hadn't seen that white hat hat in a long time. The wife just found it the other day. It's all dirty and like this one. That's why I got black because it doesn't show the dirt as badly. But I've had this hat for uh, a couple of years. The other hat I've had it. Oh hell, I've had that one a long time. Probably, probably ten years or more. I've had it a long time. I haven't made um, the Iowa 80 truck stop has a little embroidery uh, teacher making place in there. And, uh, so I've had these hats made there. Anyway, that's that. Um, but yeah, I'm just hanging out. I might take a walk. I took a walk early this morning when I went to go look at you get that dongle. Um, I took a walk and get woke up. It was cold this morning. Now it's in the 40s now, so it's not bad out. And then tonight I'll drive up to Jerome, or over to Jerome, um, pick up my butter load tomorrow morning. And the place I'm picking up tomorrow, they're really picky about the uh, trailer smell and stuff. They're worse than the other place that I picked up at Miracle. Uh, boss man told me I was going over there to pick up. I was like, oh, <laughs> pardon my French, but yeah, those guys are really, I've only been there one other time. I worked for a different company back then. Uh, pulled a dry van in there. Uh, I had to go wash the dry van out. So I had it, and it, it's all wooden floor and stuff. So to wash it out, it takes all day to, uh, to dry. So I sat out in their parking lot all day long, waiting on that thing to dry. They finally told me to get in the, in the door, in the dock. And they inspected the trailer. They found one cotton seed. Cotton seeds are pretty small. Inside a crack on that wooden floor, and they refused to load the trailer. One seed. They could just pick it up and throw it out. They refused the whole fucking trailer. I was pissed. <laughs> so was my dispatch. Everybody was pissed after that. And I hadn't been back since. And now I'm going there tomorrow. So keep your fingers crossed. That I can get loaded tomorrow because I like these butter loads and I like to keep getting them. So let's hope we can get it. I like going to Long Island. A lot of people don't like going to New York, anywhere around the city. Long Island is nice, it ain't bad. But I don't like going to Queens. Don't care to go to uh, anywhere downtown. There's a place down on 10th and West I used to go to a meat market. That's a pain in the butt to go in and out of. A place over in Queens is a pain in the butt. I don't like either one of them, but the Bronx ain't too bad. Um, it's pretty easy to get in and out of the produce market over there. Um, and Long Island's a cinch. Just don't, just don't, <laughs> don't drive on any of the parkways. You don't allow trucks on parkways. They got the seven foot bridges. You don't pay. So anyway, keep our fingers crossed we can get loaded tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.